Hello everybody. So I had a message this morning from Closet Geek Joe and from Recovered Riches Stacy. Um, they had some stock to clear. They don't want to deal with it anymore. Some of it's unlisted, some of it's death pile. Um, so they've asked me if I want to go and pick from it. So it's like my own boot sale, garage sale, private picking session, whatever you call it. So um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see what they got. My head is shiny, Jesus. What's going on there? You okay? Hi. You alright? It is Stacey's stuff, but he's busy, so I'm doing the dealing for him. Okay, no worries. It's fine. Has he authorised you to uh, sell, sell, sell? Sorry? Has he authorised you to sell? Yeah, he wants me to ship it. Right. Oh, right anyway, then. the pile here on the sofa. Okay. This is where all the jerseys and the bits like okay. that are. There are some hidden bonuses in there as well. There's video games and bits like that. Right. I haven't even, I haven't gone through them. I've taken some bits off the table of them, which I bought of them. Okay. But all of the Levi jeans are going as well. I don't know if you're interested in them. Yeah, I'm not sure about them, but I just hate listing trousers. It's just a fucking pain. It is but, what it is. Yeah, I know. A couple of pairs, which has got, which are, they've got high end. They will sell. Alright, Stacey. You are right? But not at the same price as these. These are like like fucking two foot a pair. Two combined. foot a pair, right. Oh. Um yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's trying not to watch the video. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> This is Connor, by the way, if you met Connor. Connor okay. is um, Stacey's T-A-Y-E. Oh, right, okay. Hi, Connor, you're all right. Man. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey, you're right. I've never dealt with them before. So I've never... I think Lawrence sold a jersey. Just Anything there. motor racing is fine. <laughs> Prime Minister Connie. What do you want to do? Just do you want to add it up as you go along, or should we just do it at the end? Or? Once you put it all in there, right? You just take it off it. I'll keep it in the head then. Can I open it up? How's mm. business anyway? You're doing alright? Mine's, I've only just the apron up again. And, um, yeah, I'm still right now. Mm. Got a good couple of years here. Probably be interesting, that one there. It's Disney, isn't it? Like it. It is kids, it's small, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it's still unusual, isn't it? Child medium, maybe. Don't know, you just have to put the sizes on it, don't you? Charged medium is one's tiny. Yeah, it is teeny tiny. Take it anyway, I mean. Do you do polos? This one's Ralph Lauren. Depends what it is. I think it's Ralph Lauren. Four. Of jerseys down your way. Oh yeah, I took them all down here, yeah. Leather? Have a look at it. I'll put that as something different down there. That's the Ralph Lauren. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to open them all. Six. There's a pretty little dress there, brand new with a hundred and fifteen pound label on it. Give you Seven. a good discount on that one, 114. Oh I'm not I don't do dresses. Can't be bothered with it. Alright. Oh you're a girl. 
There's a brand new dress there, £115 label now, so if you want to look up the brand, see if it's any good to you. Yeah. Do you buy all this in a job lot or what? Stacy does, yeah. He's done a big phase where he bought loads of clothes and then that is about two months ago and now... I mean, to be fair, left, like... He's got left, he just doesn't want to do it. During lockdown, it was all right, wasn't it? Clothing. It was easy to get. Yeah. I'll count them up after. I've lost count. A little bit of Argyle there, From a Argyle. They're showing the uh, football on big screens, aren't they? I don't watch football. Oh, do you not? No. no. You know, a, I was at boxing last night, and they're like, oh, no one's here. Because no, no, the football's on. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 What's this, a polo Argyle? Official note. I did throw a Ralph Lauren one over there. Uh, oh, probably that. Did you shoot jackets? No. 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 I've got no idea whatsoever on that. No, I know a lot of people do, and they do all right with them, but I just That's never got into it. Exactly, yeah. Former jackets? Maybe, depending. Ski trousers, is that ski no. trousers? No. No? <laughs> Good size, it's XL. It's just... No one's going on holiday, are they? And... No. Take up too much bloody room. No. There's another jersey, there's a couple more there. Yeah. Knock you. Oh, you've had a load down there, yeah. There's a load at the bottom here. I don't know if you do baseball. Yeah, any jerseys. Is it? Oh, this one here is real sheepskin made in England. All right. You interested in this sort of thing? I don't know anything about it. Probably not. No? No. Just don't know. It's weather for it, really, isn't it? Yeah. It'll, it'll sit around for a while, won't it? Coffee bag. Mm, that might be all right. Branded, isn't it? Branded stuff. Oh. No. That should sell now. England jumper. I don't know if it's official, but you'd have to have a look. No, no, no. Oh,
gonna, what's he going to do with the rest of this stuff then? This is all for sale. Well, if you want to get, and then you're going to bulk sell it on right. the marketplace just to get rid of it all. Yeah, yeah. For my jacket, I'm branded. Nah, probably not. That was a cycling one, that's yeah. right up your street. Yeah, no way. Not a lot of value in it. Are you looking for sports ones, yes? Yeah. Like teams. teams, team caps, really. I'm pretty sure these were both bought from America, so. If they are both teams, I'd be like, I'd Anyone for a Germany cap? That's so cool. Oh no, they're really quite like that now. No, they're out. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to get this one. That one's got a baseball sign on the back. Are they any good to you? No. This one's got a baseball sticker on a baseball sign. It's not worth much. job lighting it all get letting it go to somebody so you'll need a bit of tlc as well they need like reshaping and stuff they've all been cleaned all been put to the wash machine hmm and then hi hat straw anything in that one these ones Have are more vintage ones with not flat caps okay The Blu rays? Blu rays, they're all available. I just don't buy them. I don't even know what I'm looking for, like to see if things are genuine on these things or not. Hi. So uh, is that what you want? Just that I mark? think so, yeah. Alright, let's go sort it out then. Let's see what we got. I'll put the wheels back if you want. Alright, just glancing at it, what do you offer? If I glanced at it. Eighty quid? I always think I'm hundred, so if we get mm. ninety in the middle, does that sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds fair. Sweet. Ninety quid, right? Stacy. Yeah. I just double check. I just done the negotiation hard part, right? I got ninety quid for this. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Right. We haven't counted it. We just done whatever. Yeah, I'd say probably about 25, 30 items. Yeah, I was thinking 25. There you go, 90 quid. Hello, Thanks very mate. much. I'll push out to your car. Guess it out my Cheers, way. proper service. I'll just uh, shift the rest. Yeah. Don't want a sofa, do you? No, you're all right. I've got no nowhere to put it. We're moving, well, hopefully moving soon. We've got yeah, a house lined up. Nice in your new house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to get through there. What, this one? Yeah. yeah. Right, cheers. Cheers, mate. See you later. Cheers. You too. Hey, well, welcome back. That was the footage over at Joe and Stacey's warehouse um, or unit. And um, I've got everything that I picked up here. I've unbagged it all just to lay it out. And I'm going to show you what I picked up, um, but I've done no research on it. So I don't know what it's worth. I don't know what I'm gonna sell it for. None of that yet. That's gonna take a bit of time. I'm just gonna share with you what I picked up. Now, stay tuned till the end. There's some cracking items in here, and there's one item in particular you are not gonna believe. It's unbelievable. Seriously, 
it's like you couldn't have written it it is mental i can't big it up any more than that just wait and see so i might even model some of this stuff for you so that uh, you can see it in its true beauty so if you remember the negotiation me and joe had and stacy as well um 90 pound are paid for this lot that's 27 items in the end there was there 27 that is just over three pound per item that's not bad if you average it out let's just deal with it like that let's average it out just over three pound an item so first up is this plymouth argyle jacket it's a thick warm winter jacket not so good for summer but i'll still probably list it and see where it goes it's an official Plymouth Argyle merchandise. It's a size large. And um, yeah, it's nice. It's in real nice condition. And I have a Plymouth postcode. It's literally just down the road, about a 30 minute drive to get to Home Park, which is Plymouth's home ground. So that's a nice, decent item. Now, remember, I mean, I'm doing this a bit early. I should have probably done it at the end. Remember I said to you that there was an amazing item in here. Now this was sealed up. I didn't actually see it when we were, you know, in the warehouse. And most of it I didn't open. I just saw that it was a decent sports item and I put it in the uh, trolley. So yeah, looks like a nice sort of baseball jersey. But this is amazing, trust me. You're not going to believe it. I'm not bigging this up too much. I'm telling you now, wait for it, wait for it. It's got homies on the front. Nice black baseball, vintage. It looks vintage, Russell Athletic, it's certainly got some age to it. Um, now wait for it. You wait and see what's on the back. Seriously, I'm gonna wait a minute. Just, this is unbelievable. Are you ready? Are you ready? The odds of this are like one in a billion. That is ridiculous. That, if you didn't know, that is my surname, Hayden Wong. Spelt in the exact same way. How mental is that? So just for this, I'm going to wear this for the rest of this video. Here we go. There it is. Ta da Whoa, look at this. Homies. Hayden number one. Get in there. Right, let's move on. So this one, this is... A line, it's got Lion King on it, embroidered onto a very, very small jacket, a leather jacket or a leather look jacket. I'm not sure at all if it's genuine because the embroidery isn't amazing. If you have a look. I'm not convinced. Just have a look on the back. But I picked it up. It was very cheap. Very, very cheap. So I just thought, let's just get it. Let's have a look at it later. But it's tiny. I mean, look at the size of it. It's like a small... It says medium, but it's probably youth medium. I mean, let's just see how small this thing is. Oh, Jesus. What do you reckon, homies? What do you reckon? Woo! Oh. Does it suit me? Okay. Fucking hell. Oh! Shit. I am bend my arms. Babe! We've got this 212 NYC jersey. And it's an all-star thing. All-star 88. I'm not sure of the origins of this. Oh, it's going to require some research. But at just over £3 got to be worth it it's in nice condition so that's that one uh, i've got cardinals um it's not a proper jersey but it's i don't know a fan jersey or a t-shirty thing so there you go that's that thing uh what's it got here on this sleeve arizona cardinals there you go but yeah it's a nice nice good quality item now this one's interesting, Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls and it is reversible. Now a little bit of the logo has come off there. It's Nike and it reverses into red. 
and on the other side it's just got balls. So that's interesting. I like that. I might actually whip this on now and just see see what it's like. Let's do another change quick. Here we go. There we go. What do you think? It's not really me, is it? It's not me at all. Look at the state of my arms. I've got t-shirt arms. It's not me. But I've done it now. Let's go with it. Okay. Another jersey here. Uh, it's an NFL Reebok. Oh, what is it? I don't know what team it. I don't know what team that one is. Uh, Breeze on the back. No, I'm not seeing anything immediately. You guys who know NFL better than me will know probably who that is. Uh, right. Oh, look at this one. This is big. This is massive. Uh, Ren it's an ice hockey jersey by the looks of it. Renault on the front, Shurp on the back. No idea what team that is, but it's pretty big. Look at it. It's massive. That's interesting for just over £3. Got to be worth a try. Crossbar is made by. Possibly vintage by the looks of it. So that's all right. I'm going to have to take this off in a minute. I feel ridiculous. Um, official Plymouth football merchandise. It's a polo shirt. It's brown. It looks in great condition. It's a size small. Really nice, that. That's all right. Holy sugar. Look at the size of that. That is ridiculous. Look at it. Did the bloody Hulk wear this or what? It's massive. What size is it? I don't know. I can't see a size. Holy crap. That is mental. I'm going to have to try this one on. Right, we're ready. Here we go. Wow. That is... Oh my God. Look at the state of this. Have you ever seen anything so big? I'm a large. I'm a size large. This must be 5XL. I mean, I know they have like armour and stuff, but come on. That is mental. Right, let's carry on. I've got this one. Another um, NFL top. Sanders on the back. Um, and I've got this, what looks like a football shirt, soccer shirt. I don't know the team. I'm going to have to research it. It's got like this, it's like it could be like Eastern European or Russian. Looking at the badge there and on the back it's got a player. So I don't know, that is a mystery, that one. Um, we've got this one, we've got the Ravens jersey. This one does have a bit of an issue with the badges on the on the arm there. They've come off. So I'll price that accordingly. Um, what else have we got? This one. Can't see any team on that one. It's just a Russell Athletic. But look at how wide it is on the shoulders. Look at that. It's a big size. Well, maybe not a big size, but here's a Michigan um jersey basketball starter so vintage i expect i'll have to look it up i picked this up because all i saw was the majestic um label so i thought i'll just have that it's majestic it could be worth something but actually it's, there's no team attached to it it's just a number 74 jersey so not sure what that's about um, and this one has is, is got diamond backs 24 on it. It has got a stain on the front, but I think I can get that out with a bit of the pink stuff. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Looks all right. And a Bengals uh, jersey. It's a big one. It's another big one. 2XL, that. You see, that's 2XL. And that's pretty big. Palmer on the back. Um, but yeah, a little bit of fading on that one, but, you know, not the end of the world. Miami Heat, number 32 O'Neill on the back. 
little bit faded again, but I'll price it accordingly. Now some t-shirts, we've got um, some WWE t-shirts. I'm no good with WWE, but I know the t-shirts can sell pretty well. The Woken Warrior. This is, what is this size is it? I don't know, I can't tell. WWE Wear, Authentic, there you go. The Woken Warrior. Uh, what's this, another. N another NYC, no it's not, Regal Wear NYC 2K2 and it's got My Native on the back, if any of you know what that is. Just looking for the front label, where is it? There it is. New York Native. We've got an Adidas one here, just an Adidas T. It's only a small brand with the three stripes. That's quite a nice t-shirt. Another WWE wrestling thing. Don't know what it is. Never, never shuts up. And it's got this on the back. Um, an NFL, just an NFL logo T. All right, and a cycling jersey. You know, I like my cycling jerseys. This one's got the branding, the Corona branding on it. No, it hasn't actually. I thought it was Corona, but it's not. It's 21 crumbs. Ah, see, at first glance, I thought the writing was Corona, but it's not. 21 crumbs, no idea. But three pound, it's easily worth it. And this one is a baseball jersey, a vintage by the looks of it, sports bell. I'll have to check out what the what that logo is. 24 on the back. Also I picked up this. This came in as part of it. It's um a bag, it's just a cold old bag, a little one. But branded um, Red Mountain Coffee. I need to get this off. It's doing me editing. Just hang on a second. Let's um, let's get Hayden one back on. All right, you ready? There it is. All done. So that's it. Um, Twenty-seven items, ninety quid. Helps the guys out. They want to clear out some stuff. Helps me out because I'm always looking for these this kind of stuff. I like selling jerseys and. Um, sports stuff like that um so more than happy to do a deal and thank you both for organizing it cheers for the shout out um cheers for messaging and uh, thanks for the deal we should make some money on it that is it we'll see you soon thanks for watching take care bye